So the online, it's me, Sabit Christopher, to take you through a data visualization with uh, binary date ranges. So with binary date ranges, what do we mean? Uh, if you have uh, a report, what you're looking at, it is a line chart showing the progress or a trend of an event or revenue. Like as you see, our raw data having the date capture and the revenue, but uh, we have dates which are notified somewhere like uh, uh, bookmarked because there was a promo going on, a promo given let's say to customers and uh, you'll need to uh, visualize the report or your graph and uh, it should explain to the, the audience that uh, you see between this day and this, we had this promo, we had this and this going on. Uh, like say, let's say like uh, an event occurrence. So this is what we are going to show in our report. Then on top of that, you can have a comment. You don't have to explain everything, but you can have a comment to explain the the, the date ranges. So guys, uh, stay on up to the end of this video. I show you how you can do this. Very simple. We all know how to do the the, the graphing, the line charts, but Let's see how we can top up to include the ranges and uh, the comments. Okay, now uh, this is it. Uh, maybe if I can test uh, something before we start. Uh, if let's say we were to add just to this uh, like on 9th of um, 9th, 10th, and uh, assuming that uh, also this one was highlighted as a promo day, I'll have to include the one. So binary one, stands for true and the zero stands for false so the moment i include the one that we had the problem on this day you see it highlights out let's say even if if i show also up to 14 to let's say from that day up to 14 so if i include the one to show that there was a promo that range will be selected and if i put a comment on the beginning of the day then we say that uh, this one is uh, uh, here the promo was unveiled. Maybe that was the first day when the promo was unveiled. So automatically it will show the comment and the date range. So when you're presenting this, it is just very simple uh, explanation to the audience that uh, from this and this date, we had a promo. That's why maybe we had an increase in revenue and it clearly tells to the audience that, you know, we are, we are having the highs because of the promos, because they also look at the ranges when the promos are taking place. You cannot, uh, even if you're not using only promos, any event, if you are running uh, an operation graph or a trend of a certain plant or anything, you can also run these for breakdowns and the management clearly sees where the, uh, the breakdowns are and this is how maybe we get a trend of uh, uh, of uh, maybe a production or anything revenue or anything like as how you're doing your captures okay uh, let's go directly to the to the graph i've already shifted the data this side uh, i think just to uh, minimize on time uh, so this is the data, we're going to have the date, we have the revenue ready. Now, uh, for the promo where we are having the promos, which means to be a one. Binary, we have uh, always a one and a zero. So a one standing for true, I'll first note them here, and the zero will always stand for false. So which means where there is a zero, there was no promo. Where you find a one, there was a promo. We are doing that with a purpose. You're going to see that. Please stay on at the end of the video. Remember to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up when you find a usefulness in this content. Okay. Now, the first thing to do is uh, creating a line chart. So I'm going to select date and revenue. Control shift downwards, down arrow. I walk selecting the whole range of data. Go to insert. Uh, then always uh, start with the recommended 
the recommendations from Excel, they will always give you the, uh, the first recommendation and it will always be the best fit. So this is what I'm choosing. Uh, line chart key, I will shift this one up. Key, I will shift this, this up. Mm, that is, that is. Okay, that is. I'll enlarge this. And uh, making sure that uh, it is stopping uh, because it is running for three months. Uh, if we selected this, do we, does it capture the, all our data? Yes, it does. Now, the next thing now is uh, we are going to start formatting our chart. You can leave this. You can put a heading here or a chart, a chart title. Uh, then uh, the first thing we are looking at, let's add uh, the promo uh, as another set of data. So select your, your chart, right click, select data, or you can do the same like this. Select your chart, go and chart design in the ribbon, then select data still, all the same. Then we're adding a series. This is it. So what is the header of the series? The series name is the promo. Then we are running this as the series value that is uh, from the first values we are having here, 1st of January up to the last. So we're going to run, run that up to the last. This is it. And we're OK. Uh, OK, then for the horizontal bit, we shall leave it like this because it is going to pick the date. Or you can also edit and add, but let's leave it like this, then OK. OK, when you check your chart now, uh, we are having the two dimensions or the two metrics, uh, that is the revenue and the promo, where there is a one and a zero, but uh, a lot is supposed to be done. So what are we going to do? We are going to create a combo from the charts, because now this is a combination of a line chart and something else, of which they are not having the same metrics. This is revenue and this is numeral, which is like, let's say I can say number zero and one binary. Uh, select your chart, change chart type. We run directly to combo. Now, our revenue, we don't want it as a clustered column, let it remain as a, a line. Okay. Then the promo, we are going to put this as a bar, clustered columns. So clustered columns, remember that the metrics are not the same. We are giving this on a secondary axis. Yeah, this is well. OK. Now, uh, the moment you have had this, let's go ahead and uh, do the formatting. Uh, we have many videos which show how we do the format. So we include the, the, the links in the, the description. Uh, the first thing to do is I'm going to eliminate the the the, the, the numbers on the on the x-axis, the secondary y-axis, the secondary vertical axis because I don't need them. I just need want to look at the, the 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 revenue. I don't need to look at the ones and the zeros because it's showing from zero to one point two. Then another thing we are going to do something on the range. Another thing we are going to reduce, uh, you see there is a cluster, there, it is too, uh, too compacted on the horizontal. We are going to reduce this, we'll begin with this. Click on the horizontal axis, right click, format axis. Okay, now uh, we need this one to run with a measures of five days. So we can take four or five, depending on how you need me uh, to design your, your chart. So for now, I'll take five, then enter. So you see now the difference of five days from first to six is like that. Or you can have this one as four, still it can work for you. So this is it. So after that is done, we go to now uh, the vertical axis. We don't need this. So you go directly to numbers, 
I will not delete it because the moment I delete it, I will lose the visual of the bars I have. Uh, what I will do directly, I'll go to numbers. Now, on the category, I'm going to choose custom. Then custom, you see now it is defaulting to dollar, but it's not a dollar. So I'm going to choose here the format. We are going to put semicolon. Uh, we are going to put uh, colons three times. So colon three times, that is a format in Excel, which shows that uh, you bring, you it is hiding, hiding data. Data remains, but you hide it. So I'm going to do that and add. It is going, to, the axis is there, but we are hiding the numbers. Okay, this is it. Now, moving to the, to the bars, select any of the, the promo bars, that is the ones, right click, format data series, this is it. So what are we formatting this time? We are going to reduce the gap, the gap width. So uh, reducing the gap width, we take to zero, then when you take to maximum, you see you're increasing. So we take backwards to zero. I think this one is tending to exactly what we need. So we have to look at the, 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 the sharpness of the colors. Uh, we come to fill, a solid fill. We have this, we can have it the same color. Then we increase the, we increase the transparency. I can have this and this. And here I tap on the transparency. I think this one is better off. Then the line chart, we can deal with this now. Right click on the line chart, format data series. This is it. Um, we move directly to, um, we move directly to, 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 to fill and fill and line, eh? so since we are dealing with a line, so uh, the line we need a solid. We can go with black. Okay, uh, increase the transparency up to around there. Then the width you can go with that. Then you go on changing all the other things. Then uh, what I'm looking at, I will have to smoothen the line. So I think looks better now. So after smoothening the line, you can do other changes depending on how you feel like you need to have your your, your graph or your line chart visualized. So I'll have to remove the major grid lines. We don't need them. I think this is it. We are turning to where we need it. Now what next? Uh, we need now to insert our labels. So we are going to click on any of the promo, right click, or you can use this one and insert data labels. Okay. When you insert data labels, it will automatically insert the zeros and the ones. Then if you're using 365, there is an option of having another value replacing the value which is already displayed. So click on one of the values, right click, and format data labels. We are going to have these options. Now, this time we need to choose our own values. We don't need the values from directly picked by the picked by Excel. So we are going to pick our own values that is values from cells. So now I'm going to select my own range. Now the range I need is the comments. So we're going to select the range of the comments, start with the first date and up to the last date, such that if any changes are done, still we have them reflected. So this is it, I will okay this. So when I look at the graph now, it is too clustered, it is too, too clustered with a lot of data. Now, what do we do? Yeah, we have selected our values from the cells we needed customized ones, we no longer now need these values, yes, and uh, you can show leader lines or you leave them, so if I remove the leader lines, you can show or leave them. Uh, then another thing here, you can go ahead and uh, do all the formats, but uh, what do I need now? I'll go back to 
uh, here data labels I make sure that maybe a big cut out for better presentation so you see when I pick cutouts again I get that disorganization again I have to go back okay my data labels I remove the category name because I have changed something then I have to come back and remove the category name then I remove the, the values so I remain with the value from the cells I picked directly so here what are we having okay okay and I think we need to look at the range again okay this is it Let me right click for my data labels, remove this, remove this. Okay, that is it. Sorry, I had uh, I'd worked on only one, yet there were very many. So this is what we go with. I think uh, when you try to look at this, it is now more visible and uh, best explain, explaining. So you can go ahead and uh, do the formats here, increase this and format to make sure that uh, uh, it is uh, well presented to the audience. So I can have this. So you can shift such a chart directly into your presentation with a PowerPoint and uh, all will be well because you don't have to explain a lot. Uh, the only thing to explain is to show the audience that already here where we have the ranges, those are the events, maybe the promo or any shutdown or anything, then the trend will only be telling that wherever we have an increase, maybe there will be a promo. Wherever we have a promo, there will be a raise in revenue. And the business will have to do its decisions. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, this is all I wanted to show you. Uh, please. If it is your first time to visit this channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that red button, leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up if this video is of usefulness to what you're doing. Thank you. We meet again in another video. Bye bye.